So welcome to Math 142 for uh, for summer 2021. And uh, as you know, as you're probably used to at this point, this is going to be a completely online course. Uh, what I'd like to do is just give you a little familiarity with WAMAP, with the, uh, the, the shell that we'll be using for this course. Many of you have probably used it before, uh, if you took 141, for instance, here uh, at Wacom, and, uh, and just get you started. So my name is Chuck Devanchi. I'm your instructor for uh, for this course, and I've been an adjunct uh, faculty member here at Wacom for about 25 years, and I've been uh, teaching in the Bellingham School District for about the same amount of time as well. So, and all math. Um, so here is uh, here's what your view will look like as a student. I'm looking at student view right now um, for WAMAP, and you can see that we can kind of see. Two weeks out, you'll always be able to see two weeks out and, and work on stuff ahead of time if you, if you want to. Um, so a couple of highlights I'd like to point out. Announcements. Here I will have some stuff posted. You've probably already looked at this uh, in order to get here. But I'll post uh, announcements during the week. Uh, check this. Make sure that you're feeling up to date and that sort of thing. Um, and day one gets started. You've probably already looked at this because you are looking at this video right here. Um, and this is how weeks are, are typically laid out. There'll be some information, maybe some uh, assignments and stuff, and then quizzes and forums down here. And I'll talk about quizzes and forums here in a moment. If I look at like the rest of week one, this first week that we're in, you can see right here that I have some uh, things associated with sections out of the text. And if you open that up, there's there's two parts in here. There's the lecture, two main parts, uh, which is just like this, just a video of me talking about how to what to do, how to do it. And then there's some uh, problems that I recommend that you give a try to out of the text. And these, I, I select these. They're really good problems. Do these so you so you feel comfortable with it, so you know the material. And then I have some additional videos if like you wanted to. You know, I, I needed to know more about radians, for example. You can watch someone else's video on it as well. So here's each of the uh, sections that we'll talk about during the week. And then quizzes and forums. There's two pieces. Uh, there's the forums that will have a prompt that you reply to. You reply to someone else's prompt as well. And then I have a, a practice quiz as well. I'll talk about practice quizzes in a bit. That's just the structure of a week. And like I said, uh, you, you can see uh, two weeks out. I, I always do that so you can work ahead. Um, Folks who like to work ahead, I want to support you as much as you can because it's kind of important to be able to do that. Let's take a look in resources. And I have a couple things in here. Here's the syllabus and the printable calendar. And uh, here's a nice link to uh, questions for instructor form. Like if you have math uh, questions about the assignment or something like that. So let's peek at the syllabus first. Uh, this is my Wacom email here. I'd really prefer that you message me through WAMAP. You're going to get a, a much quicker response. Uh, and I just have it open more often. So check, email me through WAMAP. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute. Some descriptions about the course and such. Um, here's some important dates where we have our midterm and our final. These are online. You know, how numbers turn into grades, letters, <laughs> as far as that's concerned. Um, one important note I really want to point out, uh, this class ends at the final. So if you are having some stuff that's late that you're trying to submit, it must be submitted by 11.59 uh, p.m. the day before the final. Uh, no work will be accepted the day of the final or after the final. So if you're going to use late passes, they, they do expire then. Um, speaking of late passes, you get six for the quarter. Uh, late, late passes can be used on practice or timed quizzes. They cannot be used on the forums, midterm, or the final. They just let you, you know, if you miss the deadline, you can you can go back and do it. You could use it to redo something as well if you wanted. Uh, also, you know, pay attention to the calendar. Um, this happens every now and then. Um, but if when I, someone just tells me, oh, I just forgot, uh, it, it's it's just kind of lame <laughs> don't do, don't do that uh here is how the categories are weighted for the grades midterms and final together 65 percent practice quizzes and forms are 15 and the times quizzes are 20. so here's how the pieces kind of fit together for the homework i i don't grade the homework that's 
the assignment for the section. So if I'm looking at like 6.1, these are the problems out of the book that I think you should practice. That's your practice. And I think it's very important that you do it. Um, there, I'm not going to collect them, not part of your grade, but that's, that's your chance to make sure, like kind of test yourself and make sure that you know how to do what you want to do. Uh, the midterm and the final together, 65% of the grade. Uh, those dates are fixed. Um, and here's how it's going to work. Uh, the test, you get a two hour sitting and I'll open the tests on, on each of these days at 8 a.m. and they'll be open until 10 p.m. And so you have two consecutive hours. You can't pause the time to get it done in that in that window. And 10 p.m. is a hard deadline. So if one were to start the midterm at 9 p.m., that person would only get an hour to work on it. Like it has to be done by 10 p.m. Practice quizzes and forums. This is 15% of the grade. Um, let me talk about forums first. Uh, so forums are going to be a prompt where I prompt uh, a question and you um, you give an answer to it and then you respond to one other person's um, one other person's post in the forum as well. The practice quizzes um, again these are graded. You get four tries on every question on the practice quiz. Um, these are not timed, so you can pick away at them as you want. Again, you get four tries on every on every question. Um, these are really, really good practice. And these are a really good way to kind of not trick yourself about if you know something or not. Like it's really good, good feedback. Uh, practice quizzes feed into time quizzes. If you're doing the practice quizzes and you understand what's going on, you will do great on the time quizzes. They are a lot alike. Um, time quizzes are timed. You have two hours to do them. And it's about 10, maybe 15 questions max. Um, again, clock runs the whole time. You can't pause them. And you get three attempts on, on every problem on a time quiz. If you've done the practice quizzes, like I said, you're going to be in great shape for the time quizzes. Uh, the practice quizzes really, truly are practice for the time quizzes. Um, and a couple things I want to point out. Um, if you ever feel that you've been shortchanged on a question on the time quizzes, like there's a rounding error or something like that, just send me a message. Just message me. It's fine. I, I go over them too, um, and, I, and I check and give people credit on problems that it's like, oh, they just rounded wrong or something like that. But if, if you're like, I don't know why I got this wrong, just message me and um, I will reply. Okay, that feels good for uh, that. There's a lot of other stuff on here. Um, we do have our math center still. I don't know if what their face-to-face -face, uh, policy is at this point, but uh, it's a great resource that you've already paid for. So you should you should use it. Okay, let's take a peek at the calendar as well back into resources, the printable calendar. So I really, really recommend you print this out and just have it so you can refer to it. So this is our calendar for the course. Uh, you can see the midterms there on July 20th, the finals there on the 18th and so on. So I've tried to lay this course out so it has some predictability. Um, here's today. Uh, well, I don't know what day you're looking at this, but here's Monday, stuff I want you to do. Um, anything that is italicized is due on that day. So like, for example, the week one forum, your post is due by Thursday. Uh, your response is due by Tuesday. And if you look, um, for the most part, this is Thursday, but those, the forum and the practice quiz will almost always be due on Fridays. You can kind of see that in the rest of the structure. And then the responses and time quizzes, I tried to make them on Tuesdays as much as I could. I had to shift this one because of the midterm, but I, I tried to do a lot of predictability in here. Also, see how it says 6.1, 6.2. Um, so by Tuesday, you should have section 6.2 done. Um, if you look at this practice quiz, um, this practice quiz will pull from 5.1, 6.2, 6.1, etc. Uh, I think that's pretty straightforward. Uh, the reviews, um, you know, it's just reminding you that you have the midterm coming up, that sort of thing. Again, print this and just refer to it. This is the latest I think you should be doing things. In other words, uh, like you should, the latest you should be looking at 5.1 is Wednesday and doing that homework. You can always do stuff early and and why not it's nice to get ahead and then again these italicized pieces are hard deadlines 
Um, you can't use late passes on forums. You can use them on practice quizzes. You can use them on time quizzes. So one last piece I'd like to talk about is just messaging real quick. Uh, click over here for messages. If you wanted to send someone a message, um, you can choose their name from the list. There's only one person on the list so far because it's me. Um, you can put in your title. What I really like about messaging, you know, you can just type, but if you click on um, add new math, you can actually uh, type some math in here. So for example, You can uh, use exponents and all that. And if you've used WAMAP before, you're familiar with that. Uh, there's some stuff in the intro on how to do it. But it is a great way to communicate uh, and particularly talk about math. All right, I'm looking forward to supporting you uh, through this course. Please do not hesitate to send me questions uh, through messages. I will be checking a lot. If you feel like something's not working right, let me know. I'll fix it as soon as I can. And uh, here's to a good quarter.